Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today I am very, very excited because we get to take a look at the brand new History of Film Ichiban Kuji. Of course, we're going to be taking a look at Cooler and Metal Cooler today. Of course, very topical considering we're just finishing up the worldwide celebration in Dokkan Battle. And these figures I got imported straight from Japan. That's right. We did not get a overseas Ichiban show for these guys, unfortunately. So, your boy had to hit up one of the proxy sites to be able to get these guys live to your favorite device here. I'm very excited to open these. Obviously, you can see that it is the base form cooler and then a retooling, I guess you would say, because it's not really a repaint because the sculpt is a tiny bit different, but basically the same of a metal cooler. Now, what's interesting about these two is obviously, as you can see, these guys are price C for the Ichiban Kuji. And funny enough, um, I don't actually know which one is which. <laughs> I have no idea because when you play this Ichiban Kuji, it's random which one it is. Thankfully though, the listing that I got this from, I got this from, I believe it was Yahoo Auctions Japan uh, through the proxy service Bai, not sponsored or anything like that, but great service. I use them all the time. Um, with that, right, I was able to get these guys and the listing had each one already checked. They cracked open the box. So that's why you can see the tape is cut on both of these already. Um, so I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick one and go for it. <laughs> and we're gonna see which cooler we get. We'll take a look at that one. I'm kind of hoping that we get base form cooler first because obviously that would kind of make a little bit more sense. Um, but sorry about that, technical difficulties as always. So let's see which metal cooler we get. I am going to, uh, I'm hoping that we get the base form one first, but we're going to find out. We're basically playing a roulette here to see which one we get. We will take a look at both in one video. I could absolutely make two. Oh, we did actually get the regular one first. Go figure. You love to see it. Ha, go figure. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. We could definitely take a look at one in two separate videos, but the thing is with these, right? They are literally the same sculpt, minus obviously a few of the metal details on Metal Cooler. So I kind of felt like it was a little bit silly and unnecessary. Like I could have definitely, absolutely done that. But it kind of feels a little stingy to the viewer, I guess if that makes sense. Um, I would have felt a little bit bad about doing that. So we're going to take a look at regular Cooler first. Um, and then we will take a look at the metal boy. I am uh, actually very excited for these for a couple of reasons, but this does have a very interesting sort of thing to it in the way that they are painted um, because the regular cooler is a lot more of a matte finish than the metal cooler, which obviously makes sense because of course metal cooler is shiny. But it's going to be interesting to see how they compare and contrast to each other. And as well, of course, you know we'll take a look at them up next to Final Form Cooler as well. That is, unfortunately, the best comparison I have. Like, not unfortunately that we get to compare them, but because I don't have any other figures from this set. Because obviously, you know, this set just came out in Japan. Alright, so first of all, this stand is really clear. Like, I feel like it's not as foggy as other figure stands that I've seen. Very interesting, very nice looking. So let's go ahead and plug in Cooler's tail here. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at him. Thankfully, um, this shouldn't be too hard. It is literally perforated um, for him, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Hold on, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's easy. And there you go. There is the boy. Let's go ahead. He does not actually need a stand. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to put it on him anyway, just in case. Which foot does it go on? It's hard to tell. It kind of looks like this one. No, I think it is the other one. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's definitely there. Oh, yeah, that makes him a lot more stable. Holy cow. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Now he has his foot base, um, and he is looking a lot more stable. Okay, so here is your boy Cooler. So, overall thoughts on this figure... First of all, before we take a look at the minor details, yeah, this matte finish is very interesting. I will say, it almost makes the figure feel a little bit more cheap to me. 
because I don't think I've ever seen a Ichiban Kuji figure or even a... Ooh, that angle is really raw, though. Oh, that's a nice angle right there. I like the expression that they gave him. I will say his face does look a little bit off to me. I don't know what it is about his face that looks like the tiniest bit, like it's not perfectly base form cooler. Something about the shape of the eyes, maybe, and how his smile is definitely looks a little bit off to me. Um, but it's definitely not bad. I think it still looks very good, and I think it still looks like base form cooler. But yeah, something about the way that this figure's finish is makes it look a little bit cheaper. This sort of like, I don't know if you would call this a matte finish. I guess it is, but I feel like I've seen figures with a matte finish before that look a lot better than this. Very interesting. It doesn't look bad by any means. They definitely did a good job um, with the blue dome on the top of his head for sure. That looks very, very nice. The paint job overall looks pretty good. Honestly, the only nick I can really see is I think there is a small little black line right there, but that kind of just looks like it's part of the eyebrow thing. That's not really too bad, I suppose. And on the back, there's a little bit of a scuff of blue you can see under the blue of his cranium. But not too bad, honestly. I definitely think that it looks pretty good. The one other thing I will say, though, is his feet are kind of like the toes are sort of up a little bit, which is a little bit weird because, like, it makes this thing where, oh, you would think the figure would stand like this, right? But then he goes forward a little bit because he's, you know, then leaning on his feet that are forward. I don't know, kind of interesting. He's also smaller than I thought he'd be, to be honest with you. I thought he would be a little bit taller. I guess he is a normal masterlized figure and not like a masterlized extra figure or anything like that. So I suppose that makes sense. All right, let's get your boy Metal Cooler out of the box now. I'm so glad that I got that first try. <laughs> I honestly probably could have checked before the video and like just looked in the box to see which one was which, but I thought it would be more fun to guess. All right, so let's see here. Let's get your boy out. Now, I will say, this is another situation where I feel like you could say, oh, that paint job is so good. Okay, let's take a look at that. I feel like this is another instance where you could kind of say that Bandai is being a little lazy here. I don't know about this one, because, like, obviously this is literally just the same sculpt, and then they repainted it and retooled it a little bit to, of course, then be metal cooler rather than regular base form cooler. I suppose they could have made a completely different figure. I feel like that definitely could have been the case, and it would have been cool. However, I don't really mind since they are literally the same character. And not to mention, funny enough, Metal Cooler's price on the market right now, the secondhand market, because obviously that's the only way that I can get these, um, is actually a lot higher than um, regular cooler. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because there's less of them i don't really think that metal cooler is more popular than regular cooler i mean maybe but um i think it's just because there's less of them out there and again with the whole thing where you can not know which one you buy when you play the ichiban kuji of course one is bound to be a little bit more valuable than the other because obviously one will be a little bit more harder to find all right let's see what we got here so again clear base is very clear like, holy cow. That looks good. Oh, don't mind that on my hand, by the way. I accidentally cut myself the other day. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in his tail. By the way, I love the look of the tail. I think they absolutely nailed the metal cooler tail to a T. And I love that they actually painted the inside the correct color, too. That's cool. Interesting that the plastic is white. Usually, obviously, it's like the color of the character. Um, but no, and a different shape for the tail, too. So you can't actually plug that in. Um, to regular cooler, which I mean wouldn't really make sense, but it would be kind of funny. <laughs> All right, that goes in there very, very nicely. Yeah, so this figure, I can understand why people like this one more. Let's go ahead and place him down, and I guess we'll put the, uh, the foot base on as well. Look at this bad boy, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow, are you kidding me? That looks sick! What? Okay. So I will say again, I don't think the face is perfectly metal cooler. I almost kind of feel like with these, the sort of vibe that I get from these guys is almost like it's an artist's rendition of metal cooler. 
in terms of how the face looks. Again, I don't think the face looks bad, right? I think there's a difference between a face not quite looking exactly like the source material and the face looking bad. There is definitely a difference. I think this one is just not looking like the source material. However, I have to say, with the paint job on this figure, holy cow, they nailed it. I'm sure you saw as I was spinning him around for that little wraparound shot there, and not to mention just looking here, right? The absolute like shine on him coming in from all the light in the room like reflecting off the metal body looks exactly like the movie i think they nailed that aspect of this figure which is so cool to see almost realized in real life i love all the little mechanical details obviously his feet are very emphasized with that right you have obviously the little bits of like the little lines in there to sort of emphasize that mechanical detail on his arms and obviously in the midsection which of course this cooler doesn't have because you know he's more like natural and organic right the face has the little bit of the lines on there right and of course the tail looks so good connected to him i love the way that the tail looks like i think it looks really good on regular cooler for sure but I think the reason why I love the tail so much on the metal one is because since it has these more sharper edges, it feels a lot more dramatic, I think. I really, really like the way that the metal cooler figure looks. I think I like it better than regular cooler, funny enough. I don't think either one is bad by any stretch of the imagination. I think they're both really, really nice figures. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly, if I had to pick, I think I would pick the metal cooler, which is so funny to me. Yeah, it is interesting to see, obviously, the differences in their sculpts. Um, of course, it is very, very minimal because, of course, you know, they are basically the same figure. It is kind of interesting to me, though, that they still kept, like, a couple of the more organic details, I guess, in the metal one. Like, I think this thing for, I guess, what would be his belly button, right? They kept that here. I don't know if that's on Metal Cooler's usual design, but it's kind of interesting that that sort of thing was kept. But, yeah, these two look absolutely fantastic. Um, I am very, very happy to own these. Because obviously, uh, owning the Final Form Cool, I really wanted to get both of these guys. And honestly, the quality control isn't too bad. We already saw it a little bit on regular cooler. I do see, unfortunately, on mine, there is a little bit of a nick on his chest. I don't even know if you can see that with the light shining on it. And on his shoulder, um, I believe I also saw a little something something. But it's not too bad. Like, I've definitely seen Ichiban Kuji figures that have been <laughs> so much worse in recent time. All right. Let's go ahead and get into our size comparisons here. As per usual, we have our two usual comparisons. We have the Ichiban Kuji Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the WCF Blue Goku. These guys make sense with the size that they are to sort of be around here because they are normal masterlized figures or master lease. Again, I've never actually got an official confirmation on how to pronounce it. I always just said master lies. But Makes sense that they would be around this size because this is sort of the average scale-ish for this type of figure. So this one seems about right for me. Let's go ahead and give the boy the old measurement. Obviously, Cooler and Cooler are the same size here. And on camera, they look to be about, I would say, just above 10 inches, I think. Off cam, though, they kind of look like they're more like 10 and a quarter, honestly. Um, very, very interesting. Not a bad size. Again, I did kind of think that we're going to be bigger, but I think that's because of the expectation that was set by these big boys' predecessor, which we're going to take a look at in just a moment here. Now, for some figure comparisons with these guys, unfortunately, I don't really have too much to compare um, because there isn't really like too many characters were in this movie either, and I don't really have that many like characters from the movie. One thing I did want to bring out for comparison, scooch over, gentlemen, <laughs> is the Super Saiyan Special BOS Goku. Obviously, this is a Super Saiyan Goku figure, and of course, he wears the blue shirt just like he did in the Metal Cooler movie. So I figured I would crack the boy out, and funny enough, he's actually like. Definitely smaller than them, but he's kind of the same size just because he's up on the stand. These guys do look really, really cool together. I am sure 
that with some of the various different Goku figures that have come out, you could definitely get some very cool shots and some different fights between the metal coolers. It is kind of a shame that there isn't really a Goku figure from the cooler movie. I don't really know if you need one from the metal cooler movie. I mean, it would be cool to get one where Goku and Vegeta are like, you know, flying forward and punching Cooler's arms off, basically. Um, or one where Goku's pushing back Cooler's attack from the first movie. That would definitely be pretty sick. So you could have a little bit of a comparison with these guys. But yeah, definitely a pretty cool. And I'm sure with some other Goku figures, you could definitely get a very nice comparison. But of course, besides some more pictures of both of the boys next to each other, you know I had to bring out the king himself. The bad boy. Oh! The Master Lies Extra. Look how big he is on camera. <laughs> Let's move the camera up a little bit for my mans here. There we go. The Master Lies Extra Final Form Cooler. Now, obviously, these guys are sort of a match made in heaven, being, of course, the... I guess other versions of this cooler figure you would say obviously this cooler sculpt is clearly different than the other two you can see it has a lot more detail on it you can see there's a lot more of those little scratches all over it feels a lot more like an organic character rather than like i was saying with the base form cooler right he kind of feels a little bit more like that cheaper plastic where this cooler definitely feels a lot more like a premium figure as well you can also see of course the vein detail on him again that is just sort of the sculpt they're going in a little bit of a different direction with the style of the figure but nonetheless obviously these guys are sort of the full complete cooler set i never thought that i would be able to say that <laughs> that i have all three forms of cooler that he canonically appears in golden cooler f figure please someday but it is really cool seeing these guys together i think they do fit pretty well despite the fact that obviously the sculpt is a little bit different on final form i think metal cooler funny enough almost fits more with the final form one but i guess that's just because his design is obviously pretty different um you know just from the get-go that i think he just fits a little bit more in terms of just the characters standing next to each other but it is really cool to have this full set, I gotta say. And I think if you do get all three of these guys, you will absolutely be happy with your purchase. Especially if you are a Cooler fan. And I think now, unless they make an SH Figure Arts Metal Cooler, I think I'm good on Cooler figures. I got everything I need for a Cooler collection. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the coolers in the comments section below. Of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps support the channel. And if you would like to support the channel further, definitely don't forget to check out the Patreon link in the description. Please do not feel obligated to support, but obviously every little bit helps you, boy. And unfortunately, I can't really recommend a place to buy these figures. I can certainly recommend you buying them because I think they're both really, really good. But... Because of the fact you have to import them from Japan, um, you're going to have to use a proxy service because there is no overseas version of these guys if you really want to get them. You can find them on eBay, but they do tend to be a little bit more expensive on there than even literally going through the trouble of importing them and then having all those import fees. You got to love eBay upsellers. But that is going to do for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Dokonasu's out. Peace.